Yo, what's up dudes, it's Seeks here, and today I just thought it'd be a nice, nice time for tutorial. So I thought I would show you guys just how I did import the logo of Colt Sniping into Element 3D, as it is, it is awkward because Element 3D isn't very, I want to say compatible, but I know it is. Excuse me, sorry, I'm using a new graphics tablet and it fucks up on Cinema 4D, so... I'm just gonna have to work like this. So to import a logo you need to have it as either an OBJ file or a Cinema 4D file is what I found out works best. So I'm just gonna do for sake of ease, it's quicker to do it this way from Cinema 4D and then just save it as a Cinema 4D file is the easiest way to import. So first you want to just find your logo that you want to work with so I'm just gonna do flares because it's easier. Um, let's just set the sizes to zero, not sizes, shit, um, position. So it should be right in the middle. We might want to scale it down as well. Um, so what you want to do is you want to extrude it normally, which you should know how to do. Just make it look, make it the sizes, dimensions that you want it to be, otherwise you, you're you fucked when you import it. I might just add uh, some caps right now. Fillet caps, let's change that to 2, 2, 100, 100. So that looks quite nice as it is there. So what I would do now is I go file, save as, and save it in. Well, well I, I had an OBJ folder, but it's completely fucked. I would save it as whatever file name I wanted, and it will save it as one of these C4D files. So once you've done that, you can jump into After Effects. Create yourself a new fuck hell, um create yourself a new solid name that element and then just find element three D then grab that and put it onto your element layer, give it a second and once you've done that you can just go scene setup import and then it will come up with all the your documents and crap. You can either import if you saved as an OBJ, then do it that way. But I have it as the Cinema 4D file, so what I can do is I just select it, imp open, and it will open the logo quite nicely for me there. But you're going to have a problem with texturing, so I will show you how to fix that and I'll show you what the problem is. So if I drag on a material, you'll see it only applies it to the sides as it would do in Cinema 4D if you just try to drag on a material on the UV, U whatever it is, layout. So what you want to do is you just want to I think it's select the logo, change the texture mapping to box preserve aspect ratio and it will apply the material quite nicely to all sides. And also what you might want to do is check auto normals if you have any problems with importing it itself to see if I'm fine. Yeah, it like fixes the bottom there where it's like halfway apart. So yeah, that's how you import a logo into Element 3D. You can just click OK and you've got it there. You can orbit around it, do what you want now. That's not going to work, I've just realised. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's because I'm using a tablet and I'm still getting used to it. But yeah, that's how you import a logo into Element 3D. It works just as a text letter would. You can animate it, I believe. And it's something quite useful to know is it will help you create more abstract motion tracks. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. It's been Seeks. See ya.